In this question, we're told that given x minus 3 is a factor of px cubed minus 13x squared minus 19x plus 12, write down an equation satisfied by p, hence show that p equals 6. So I'm just going to start this question by stating that we're going to take f of x as the function px cubed minus 13x squared minus 19x plus 12. And what we know is that since x minus 3 is a factor, by factor theorem, then f of 3 must be equal to 0. So what we get is p times 3 cubed minus 13 times 3 squared minus 19 times 3 plus 12. This must be equal to 0. So let's tidy up these terms. 3 cubed is 27, so I get 27p minus 3 squared is 9 times 13 is 117. 19 times 3 is 57, so minus 57, and then plus 12 equal to 0. So I'm now going to add 117 to both sides. I'm also going to add the 57 to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 12. So when I add 117 and 57, what I get is 174. When I subtract the 12, that brings it down to 162. So we get 27p is equal to 162. And if I divide by 27, then we get p equals 6 as required. Okay. So part b then says solve the equation 6x cubed minus 13x squared minus 19x plus 12 is equal to 0. Now what I already know from part A is that x minus 3 is a factor. So if we just label this part A and this part B. So what I know then in this case is that 6x cubed minus 13x squared minus 19x plus 12 is equal to x minus 3 multiplied by some quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c. So I just need to find that quadratic. The way I go about this is if I set up a table as if I was expanding that quadratic, I'm going to compare coefficients. Now I know x minus 3 is one of my brackets, and then my quadratic is going to go across the top of this table here. So the first term I'm going to get is I'm going to do x times ax squared. That's going to give me 6x cubed. And that would go in my table here. So in order to get 6x cubed, I would need to multiply x by 6x squared. Now if I complete the bottom row of the table, 6x squared times minus 3 gives me minus 18x squared. So I then go move on to x squared term. The x squared term, I actually need minus 13x squared. I've got minus 18x squared, so in order to make that add up, in this term I need to make up an extra 5x squared, so when they total up, I get minus 13x squared. In order to get this plus 5x squared, I need to do plus 5x multiplied by x. Again, fill in this bottom row. Minus 3 times 5 plus 5x gives me minus 15x. Now, when I work down my cubic, I've got my 6x cubed, I've got my 30, 30, minus 13x squared. Now I want minus 19x. That means that I need another minus 4x in total. So somehow in this part here I have to get minus 4x. In order to get minus 4x, I must have to multiply x by minus 4. Now if I've done this all correctly, when I multiply the minus 4 and the minus 12, that should give me the very last term, which is plus 12. And it is, so I can give myself a little tick at the end, because I know this all adds up. So now what I know is that my cubic is actually equal to 6x cubed, uh, is actually equal to x minus 3 times 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. So as I'm solving the equation, I'm not going to write this out in full just yet. I'm just going to factorise the quadratic. So I have 6, 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. Now 6 times minus 4 is minus 24. Factors of minus 24, which would give me plus 5, would be 
plus 8 times minus 3. So if I split up the 5x squared into plus 8x and minus 3x minus 4, I can then factorise the first pair of terms. I can take out 2x as a common factor and it leaves me 3x plus 4. The second pair of terms don't appear to have a common factor, but what I need is a 3x plus 4, so I'm going to take minus 1 out as a common factor, and then my other bracket it leaves me 3x plus 4. And then finally, I can take the 3x plus 4 out as a common factor, so we get 3x plus 4, and the coefficients of those brackets form my other bracket, so 2x minus 1. So now we have the quadratic x minus 3 times, uh, sorry, the cubic 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. And that leads to the answers that x is equal to 3 is a root, and x is equal to, well, subtract 4 and divide by 3, so I get minus 4 thirds. And then from this bracket, add 1 and divide by 2, so I get x equals a half. Okay, so let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, method mark for using the factor theorem to say that f of 3 would be equal to 0. If you've then used that and you substitute it in the value 3 into your equation and put it equal to 0, you get an answer mark. And so and it has to be convincing working through to get that p equals 6. Uh, so perhaps we should put, actually, make it a little bit clearer, you have to have actually shown the substitution and worked down to the p equals 6 as required to be convincing. Okay, so if you got the 6x squared, you got a method mark. If you got the full quadratic, you got an answer mark. If you then manage to factorise to the three linear factors, you got another answer mark. And if you got all three terms, so three minus x equals three, x equals minus four over three, and x equals a half, you got the final answer mark. Okay, well I hope the solution made sense and I hope you're able to understand how to mark it.